Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Another day, another vlog in quarantine. What are we gonna do today? We're gonna cook, do a haul, we're gonna go to the gym, the huge, you know? Hopefully you guys are sticking with me here. I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel with this pandemic, so fingers crossed. I'm trying to stay hopeful here. And we're not gonna be in this for another year and a half. Joke's on me in a year and a half. I'm gonna be laughing at this. I hope not. When it first started though, I was like, oh, maybe a week two weeks two week lockdown that's fine here we are almost a year later so we're trying to stay hopeful in other words look how cute bailey is bailey what do you think are you staying hopeful do you think this is gonna end soon maybe into summer maybe after the summer she does not care just give me snacks <laughs> anyways you guys i got myself together for the day and i wanted to enjoy myself for a minute today is monday so before i hopped into the craziness i'm enjoying a skillshare class i've told you guys about them before they're the sponsor of today's video right now i'm watching a video on easy and versatile baking the one yeast dough that you need to know so if you guys know i got my um kitchen aid for christmas zane got me one and i've been getting a little more into baking dabbling but I need to learn like the yeast thing because you have to have like certain water temperature, you can't over mix it. And that's all I really know. So I've been watching this class trying to learn a little bit more about it. But um, I watched the first like lesson of it so far. And she is basically making like a yeast dough that you can like make so many different things out of, which I love like simplicity in the kitchen and like versatile things. Like you can make so many things out of one thing. So I'm excited to finish watching this. But if you've never heard of Skillshare, they're an online learning community there are thousands of classes millions of users and really anybody can go on it if you're a beginner at something if you just want to find a new hobby if you just want to learn about something new there's always something to learn and even if you're like a professional interior designer you can go on here and watch classes on it and you might learn something new and something that might help your career if you're a professional you know there are so many topics and categories so there's definitely something for everybody if you want to learn about like music production or you want to learn about productivity or web development being an entrepreneur or something specific like being a photographer or a videographer and most classes are 60 minutes or less so it can fit your busy schedule and it's broken up into sections so if you just wanted to watch a few today and a few the next day you totally can so here's the website in action it's very easy to navigate like I said everything is sectioned out you can save your classes so you can watch multiple at once and you have them all organized on your account you can also go down here and you can read the reviews before you even start the class to see if you are interested and what other people have to say about it. One of the best parts is that they're curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes, so there's always new and fresh content, so you can go wherever your creativity wants to take you. It's less than $10 a month with the annual subscription, and they have new live classes, which I'm so excited about. I think it's really cool. You can watch and work along with other members of the class, and you get to watch the popular teachers and get, like, real-time inspiration. I highly recommend that you guys try it out. I'm a very visual learner, and I love, like, the video format. It's very easy to take in information. It's very entertaining. If you've been wanting to try it out, I do have an offer for you guys. So the first 1,000 of you that click the link at the top of my description will get a free trial of the premium membership. So go check it out. All right, I got all my friends with me. Number one, number two, number three. <laughs> We're going to do a pants haul. Ask me how this happened. I'm not really sure. I went to order a boot mat for our, like, when we walk in the door because it's been, like, snowy and rainy. And I wanted something to put our shoes on on Target. And it was like $3.99, but you needed like a $35 order to order it online or for free shipping, something along those lines. So I ended up getting pants from Target. That's how that one happened. I was at Marshall's buying presents for somebody else, and I got myself pants. You guys saw those in the last vlog, though, but I'm going to try them on for you. And then these, I went on Abercrombie because even though we're dead in the middle of winter, I was thinking about the Abercrombie shorts that are my favorite shorts in the world. And I'm like, wait, I don't have those in black. I wonder if they have them in black. And oh, guess what they did? But you know what else they had? Two really cute pairs of pants so i bought those too i have to say the abercrombie purchase was very expensive and i was falling asleep as i hit purchase so these might be a return we're gonna see they these ones <laughs> these ones better fit me like magic because they were very expensive so let's try them all on i have the first pair on right now this was a pair of leggings that i think i showed you in the last vlog i'm pretty sure that i did yes i did i don't know why i second guess myself like i know that i filmed it in the last vlog but for some reason i'm like did i what i don't want to be wrong so maybe i didn't <laughs> but i'm pretty sure i did <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Okay, confidence. <clears throat> I showed you guys these pants in the last vlog. By the way, this top that I'm wearing with everything is just a $5 top from Target. It's Wild Fable. They're like little cotton 
$5 t-shirts. They're really good to just throw on. Anyways, if you want a cheap basic, there you go. So here's the first pair of leggings, and I love them, but I'm also kind of iffy about them. So these are the brand RBX, and let me just tell you guys something. They feel like butter. They remind me of Lulu's. They're very soft. However, here's my problem. So I bought the ankle length, like the ones that say they're ankle length, right? These say that? Oh yeah, they say it back here. Okay, so here's my thing with ankle length. On somebody that's taller than 5'1", these would be great. But as somebody that's short, ankle length means that they make the bottoms a little bit bigger because they have them sitting up a little bit on the thicker part of the leg, right? No, mine fit real length, and so now the bottoms just get like a little bit baggy on me, and so when I see like ankle length, I get excited. I have to get 7 8 I feel like those fit better because they're meant to just be a shorter legging. Point being is some companies do the ankle length right, some companies do it not so right for my body type. Maybe for other people it would work. So I kind of have the fabric like pulled up a little bit. I, I think I'm going to keep them just because they're so buttery and just scrumptious. <laughs> they were also only uh, $16.99. So basically they're just a little bit big on the ankle. But if I pull the fabric up a little bit, it's not really like terrible, you know? And I'm just going to wear these to the gym. Like I'm not going to like... I don't know, wear them every day. Like, I can just wear them and then call it a day. So, um, I think they look really nice. The high waist is nice. I love the pattern. I have yet to upload my last vlog. That Maybe that's why I'm iffy on if what's in it. But I've yet to edit and upload it. And so I don't know if I found these online. But if I did, I will link them again for you guys. So buttery. Like, very soft. Also, these are a size small, and I definitely could have went with an extra small. I like my leggings to be super duper tight, and I think that might have helped maybe the ankle situation a little bit. But um, if these, like, sucked me in just a little bit more and were a little more fitted, I have a tiny bit of extra fabric right here just because I had to pull it up. So that's a lot of explanation, but I do really like these. So, by the way, I haven't tried any of these on, so this is going to be a first impressions pants haul. <laughs> All right, I took a brief intermission. I windexed the mirror and I put on another light. So, <laughs> here are the Dan Skin ones. These are the 7 8 white gray camo print. And here's one that I can't make work. Like, the last ones I can make work. So, I have this ankle is all the way down. And it's just bunching up here. Or down here, rather. And it's big. And then this side I have pulled up and it's still sitting off of my ankle. You guys can see this extra fabric here. So that's obviously not how you want leggings to fit. As much as I love this print, I just don't think that these are gonna work. They're just like not fitting right. Whereas the other ones, like I could definitely make them work. But wow, these are really soft as well. And the pattern is so cute. But I'm gonna give a no-go to these for me. If you're taller, then these would definitely work on you. But not, not for me. By the way, I forgot to mention that these do have pockets as well, which is great. All right, next up, I'm trying on the Yogalicious. Uh, these are high-rise side pockets, ankle length. Let's see if these work. I really like Yogalicious. They sell them on Amazon as well, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to link these for you. So much better. Now, here's how I want my leggings to fit. These are perfect. You can see the length is perfect. They are sitting right against my ankle. Let me show you guys this way. These are a size extra small, so I think extra small just is how I like them to fit better. They're just more fitted, and I like that look, and obviously leggings are stretchy. I'm bloated right now from my period, but leggings are stretchy, so I don't mind if they're a little tight, you know what I mean? They've got the side pockets, here are the ankles, nice and tight around the ankles. I'm going to exchange those Dan Skin ones and find another Yogalicious because these are amazing. They're so buttery. They remind me so much of Lululemon Aligns. Like, I love these. And you guys know I don't usually go for color, but I love a good, like, maroon or, like, a muted kind of purple. I have actually two other leggings in this kind of color as well. I squeeze me, all of you. Get along. Oh, you're just gonna pop a squat just like that. I love you. <laughs> Anyways, absolute yes to these. They have a little pocket in the front too, which I don't know if people even use those. I don't. Okay, so I have like two different types of like price ranges here. So I thought it'd be cool to show you guys all of them at once. So those were like $16 leggings. I also have some pants here from Target. These were all $16 each. And then these from Abercrombie were very expensive. We've got $55 on these sweatpants. And then these are called the travel joggers. I got them in an email blast and I was just like very intrigued by the way they looked on the girl. But they were $69. So if these, I don't, if I'm not like absolutely in love with them, I'm going to return them. I what? What? <laughs> Why? 
Anyways, these are like an athletic kind of material, whereas these are like a jogger sweatpant, but I wanted more like fitted sweatpants in my wardrobe. So I think we're gonna go with the Target first and we'll do these as like the grand finale. First ones I'm gonna try on are these kind of like jog tight fitted jogger, I guess. They are from Wild Fable and I got them in the size small. In the reviews, people said that they run small. So I didn't want to get them too tight as an extra small. So um, for reference also, I'm about a size 25 or 26 on the waist, depending on the pant. So these are supposed to be like kind of like a fitted jogger legging kind of thing. So I got them in black and green. Let's try them on. Okay, here's the black. I like these. These are really comfy. I am glad that I went with the small. I think the extra small would have been too tight, but they are good on the ankles. They're kind of like... I guess just like a fitted sweatpant, but they're thinner than a sweatpant. They're like super thin actually. It's kind of hard to tell because I'm wearing black socks and a black shirt. So they're kind of just like blending in with everything, but they're a really good pant. I feel like I'd wear these with a lot of things. So I, I'm curious to see the green so we can like see it better. All right, what do we think? I think these are cute. It's a really cute like change up from a legging because they're like more cotton material rather than like an athletic legging. I really like these. My only concern is I'm thinking this might start to look a little bit like pajama-y, you know what I mean? Like they kind of look like PJ pants, which I would totally wear these to bed. Um, But here's a little spin around. Look good on the booty. Nice and fitted. Last thing from Target are their high-waisted liquid leggings. And I have two pairs of kind of like wannabe leather leggings that are more on the expensive side. And so I wanted to try a pair that was more affordable. These are $16. So I'm going to show you in regular lighting. They have that like shiny look to them. My only thing is that they're longer on me. So I have to pull up the fabric and bunch it up up here but that's just because i am short so these aren't really like a wannabe leather they're just kind of like a shiny legging but it does give you that kind of leather look so if you wanted something on the more affordable side i will definitely be keeping these i think they are so cute and they feel really nice quality like i think they're gonna last a good amount of time so i think these are great to throw on with just like maybe a big oversized sweater could be cute or you can dress these up with like heels and a top in the summertime or something i feel like these are a really good versatile pant they're like nice and stretchy because they're leggings you know they're not like uncomfortable stiff leather so these are awesome i love these last place abercrombie not that i will be needing these for a while but these are my favorite jean shorts from them i just have them in like a light wash and then a little bit of a darker wash and i wanted to grab them in black you guys these are my favorite shorts i don't like wearing shorts in the summer because my thighs rub together and it's very uncomfortable these are the four inch so they go pretty long on the thigh it's not like that long it's still very flattering it's not like a knee length but they are just so comfortable for me personally and these just fit me so well. I'm gonna show you in the mirror. I just love the way that these shorts fit me. I love the fraying at the bottom. I love how long they go in the back as well. They're just like my perfect jean short and the size 26 in these is really good for me because it gives me a little bit of extra room, especially in the summertime. I don't want things super tight on me when I'm hot and um, I think that this size is perfect for me. So love these. Moment of truth, here we go. Let's just make the weight be over. I'm gonna try on these traveler joggers, whatever they're called. I got them in an extra small. I want to try them on while I'm filming because I want to see like my reaction. They're a very thin material. Let me see if I can see what it says. So these are 89% polyester and 11% elastine, which I guess is like elastic. These looked so cute on the website, like on the model. So far the ankle is nice and fitted like snapped to my ankle that's good okay so far they fit oh no i think i like them okay we're gonna look in the mirror together here we go cute okay these are cute these are such nice quality like you can feel like the stretchiness of them they really got me with the name of them because in their advertisement they show like a girl like walking around and like traveling and i'm just like oh those with sneakers and like a simple top is such a cute and like a cute bag is such a cute travel look not that i'm going anywhere for a long time but it's just a different fun kind of pant like it's not jeans it's not leggings it's not like a sweatpant i'm not sure if i'm obsessed with this like little detail up here i wish it was more simplistic although it kind of makes it nice i'm tucking to see what it looks like like i feel like that might be a little cuter without that detail at the top all right lastly are these sweatpant joggers i got a size extra small and i got them in the short length because they have short regular long so i think that they're gonna like sit nicely on me ready one two three 
Okay, I'm actually not in love with these and I thought that I was gonna love them I kind of have the same feeling about the Target ones. I feel like they just aren't giving me much shape Like I feel like when I wear leggings I not to like toot my own horn But I feel like it gives me a little bit of curvature, you know, and I kind of have them pulled up like high-waisted So it makes them look a little weird back here These just aren't fitting me like how I envisioned they would fit me like I'm not getting much flattery here all right, there you have it, all the different price ranges and such. I want to hear what you guys think about it all. I'm debating on the Target pants. These I really like, but I don't know if they're, like, worth it. But also, I pay so much money for Lululemon leggings, so, like, if I like these, you know what I mean? These 100% love. These 100% love, love. These I love. I'm iffy on these. I gotta think about it. I'm gonna ask Zane's opinion later, too. So, I'm kind of all over the place today. The kitchen is a mess. So I am just cleaning it up slightly so that we can cook some food. Today, instead of dinner, I'm gonna cook with you guys. Kind of like a, for me, it's a very late brunch. <laughs> I had a protein bar this morning and that was it. But I saw this recipe for like sweet potato egg pockets that you bake in the oven, like in muffin tins. So I'm gonna try that out. It seems really simple and it looks really delicious. And we have sweet potatoes that I feel like are gonna start to go bad soon. I just threw on a crew neck because I'm kind of chilly, but I decided to go with these today. So I'm gonna wear these to the gym when I go, I'm going to a cycling class at 5.30. It's so funny, I'm like so indecisive. Now that I'm putting these on, I'm like, maybe I should exchange those for snakeskin looking ones and get more like ones that fit me like this because they fit so good. It's like, I don't want to fill my wardrobe with things that I'm like iffy about. So I might, I don't know, <laughs> I'm a mess. I might exchange those too. First things first, we have our sweet potatoes. I am making more than the recipe calls for, and I'm just gonna keep the extra on the side. It calls for one eight ounce potato, but I have like 16 ounces of potato. So I'm just gonna make both of them and shred them both up because then I can just like make it with eggs in the morning or something and have the shredded potato already prepped. So I'm just really quickly peeling this. I usually don't mind the skin, but I feel like for this recipe, it calls for peeled. I'm just gonna do it <laughs> just because it takes two seconds to peel two potatoes. Garbage, stay open. And then the ingredients are pretty simple for this recipe. So you just need like eggs, some cheese, some seasonings, and it's pretty simple. Stop yelling at the garbage now, We're going crazy. One naked potato, two naked potatoes. Now you can grade them by hand, obviously. But I have an attachment for my KitchenAid. That grates things for you, it's pretty amazing. You just attach this thing. Screw it into place, put whatever attachment thing you want in here, and then you put what you want to be shredded, and then you push it down, and it comes out. I'm just going to cut off the ends of the potatoes. Also, I have the oven going to 375. It's heating up. I'm just going to get my bowl here, and obviously to fit in here, I just have to cut pieces of the sweet potato, so I'm just going to cut it into some sections. All right, beautiful. We've got our sweet potato into just like quarter pieces so that it fits in there. I'm gonna do it until I hit eight ounces and then the rest I'm gonna set aside. So we make sure our kitchen aid's locked in, turn it on. Into our potatoes, we're gonna put two teaspoons of thyme leaves. I just have mine frozen from my garden. I'm not gonna go too crazy. I'm just gonna like roughly pick them off. It's actually easy when they're frozen. Okay, it says two teaspoons. I'm calling it at whatever this wants to be. So that's going in. Quarter of a teaspoon of salt, eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. And then for the cheese, supposed to be Pecorino Romano, but I didn't realize that ours went bad. I thought I had it. So I'm just gonna do a parm. So it's supposed to be one ounce of cheese. Okay, so from the one ounce, two teaspoons of it have to be reserved. So I'm being really cute and putting it in a soy sauce <laughs> thing because it's just adorable. Look at that. A little tiny thing of cheese. Okay, so that's going to be reserved for later. But in here goes the rest of the ounce of cheese. So now we just combine that together. I didn't realize that this only makes six muffins. I thought I made 12. So I didn't want to double it because I only have one muffin pan. But I could have doubled it, but it's fine. Let's just see how they are at least. All right, we're going to spray our muffin tin. So it says in each tin goes one quarter cup plus a tablespoon of this filling. So let's see here. We've got 
one quarter cup and then you push it in see my muffin tins are definitely not big enough is this right i mean i guess that will work i feel like it's too much let's see okay i have so much filling left i messed something up here i can use a tool to squish it in i'm going in with another tablespoon in each maybe i used too much potato maybe when i cut off the ends of the potato okay it's working with a spoon i see now all right gotta press it in there well i might as well make more with the rest of the filling My mini cheese. She's a goner. Should have knew this is gonna be one of those crafty recipes. <laughs> now it says to spray all of these and bake them for eight minutes and then we're gonna take them back out. Okay, eight minutes. And that's starting. Whoa, baby. Hi. Can I have the tray? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Got it. No mess made. How are you, baby? Yeah. How are you, Bella? Okay, eight minutes done. Now it says to press them in again when they come out. So I'm just taking the spoon and pushing them. I see, now that they're mushy, we can get more space. Okay. Um, eight. <laughs> I think I'll put this one in here. Make it one extra. Now we put an egg into each of these. You make me feel like I'm made of colors. Just you and me, ignore the others. Oh my goodness. Well, here they are, ladies and gents. <laughs> they actually look kind of cute, not gonna lie. So it says to sprinkle with the remaining cheese. I actually don't think I'm gonna put all of it. Just a little sprinkle. That's a lot. Two teaspoons on top? Oh, I guess because it's not supposed to be grated. It's supposed to be shredded. I get it. Shredded would be a lot less. In my opinion, I feel like this calls for a little bit of scallion. I'm pretty sure in the photo there's some chives on top, so she just didn't put it in the instructions. But I love my scallions. I'll put scallions on everything. Scallions make things look fancy too. Like immediately looks so much cuter. The question is, how are they gonna pop out? Oh, it's so ugly. <laughs> I missed this whole part of it. That was not bad. Okay, there's just so much extra here. Okay, that was the best one so far. Oh, I did also want to top them just with a little salt and pepper because I didn't before they went in the oven. Okay, if I can make this look cute for a photo, I will be happy. Here they are. Let's try them. We're going to be really cute and share a plate. Okay. Isn't that adorable? Ooh, ooh they look good. <laughs> they kind of fell apart a little bit. So like bite size? No, no, no. Use a, fork. Like Use a fork, yeah. That's the egg. Oh, good. The egg's good. Nice. Oh, oh my god, it's gonna be hot. Just went in. So close and personal. No. What? It's a lot of interesting flavors. Oh, you don't like thyme. No, no, no. I would never think egg, parmesan, and then sweet potato. Well, it's supposed to be pecorino. I think it's good. Oh, okay. It's like, oh, like super different. It doesn't taste like anything that I've had, I mean. Oh, it's yummy. It's good, right? Yeah. That's really it's like yummy. super unique. I actually like that a lot. The eggs came out nicely cooked. Perfect. Too. I'd make this again, but like in a skillet. <laughs> what do you mean? Like in a cast iron. Like do like one layer of sweet potato oh. hash and then the eggs on top. Why? Then, I was paying the bun? And then bake it. I'm just not good at aesthetically pleasing things like this. Like when you have to be like meticulous and make it look pretty. What do you mean? I couldn't get them out of the tin. It like doesn't... I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> yeah, they're actually really good. One more. You know what the deets are? <laughs> yeah, excuse me. None of the bowls are clean. I'm so happy about that. <laughs> Belly getting dinner? Well, now you have to wait even longer because you have to wash your dishes. <laughs> Bailey! I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Hi, Bob. What? Oh, 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 that's so nice. <laughs> you better eat all your food. I do not want to see one little droplet left, okay? Not one single morsel of food. Bailey Fatty? <laughs> it's 
come in uh, <laughs> patience is a virtue. <laughs> Bailey? When I start walking, she'll scream. Mm -hmm. She did it yesterday when I fed them too. Starving. <laughs> oh my god. Check it out. Personal record for the most calories burned cycling. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> ah, that felt so good. I needed that so bad. I don't know what it is. Maybe because I started working out again. So like my body is reacting differently, but this is gonna be TMI. So if you don't wanna hear about periods, just skip a little. I am on birth control. And so my period usually like doesn't really like come that much. <laughs> But this month, I think because I'm being more active, it's like, I'm just getting so many more different symptoms. Like I am PMSing so hard. I am bloating so much. I just feel so heavy and I haven't been eating the best. I'll tell you that much because of my birthday and Valentine's day. Like I definitely was like off my food grind, but I am like just PMSing so hard. Like my brain is just angry. I'm thinking about things negatively. So I needed to like get out and like sweat it out. So I'm feeling a lot better. The Bachelor's on tonight. I don't know what's happening because if you saw all that stuff with Chris Harrison, I don't like I know it's pre filmed. So I'm assuming they're just going to air it. But it is 6 30. I want to go home and wait, how many calories did I burn? 297. And that was all from cycling because I just put my watch on before I left the house. That's pretty good. Anyways, it's 6 30. I'm gonna go home. Uh, Zane is gonna make dinner with me and watch Bachelor with me. I'm so excited. I love watching it with him. It's so funny to see his reaction. Like seeing like a guy's reaction to everything is just so funny. Like he's into like the drama, you know? I got these wipes from Lidl, I think, and they're so good. I just grabbed like five of them though. Don't need that many. But every time I get out of the gym, I take one and I wipe down my hands. I wipe down the steering wheel, my water bottle, my phone, and it feels really like, Nice and sanitary. Um, we're gonna make a Hello Fresh meal tonight. It's just like a steak and tzatziki sauce bowl. We still have two meals left from the recent delivery I just got, so I want to make sure that we make those, which I have no problem with because your girl loves some Hello Fresh. So I still have yet to try the like regular workout classes. I've only done the Zumba and the cycling, and I really want to. I'm just still pretty like pretty sore slash like in pain from when I fell on the ice. Like my tailbone hurts, and I'm worried that I won't be able to do like lunges and squats very well. And I obviously want it to be effective, but like I can cycle fine. But Zumba like hurt me a little bit when I had to do like squats and stuff. I also still have yet to try 12 3 30 i also want to do that but last week i went six days oh i forgot to post this boomerang am i that girl that posts one that she works out now on instagram tomorrow they actually have the body works and then the zumba so i gotta decide which one i want to go to i don't want to overdo the zumba you know my mom's going with me on thursday and then wednesday i try to do the cycling every time there is cycling because i feel like that's my favorite form of exercise i mean i love the dancing too but i just something about cycling i just like I don't know, I feel like I sweat good. It just feels like a good workout. Maybe tomorrow I'll try out the workout with the abs. We'll see how I'm feeling. Wednesday night, Natalie is coming with me to yoga. We're gonna try that again. My mom had a hard time doing it, as you guys saw, because of her knee injury. So it's really cool that I have a guest pass whenever I want, because I can bring whoever I want. So she's gonna come with me Wednesday. My mom's gonna come to Zumba on Thursday. So that means, okay, tomorrow maybe I'll try the other workout class. It's just something new, and I'm like so comfortable with what I know there. So I'm like kind of a little bit nervous trying something new, but I, I wanna do it. In the next vlog, also, we're gonna try the Dyson Air Wrap. So get ready for that that's gonna be fun at this point i'm just blabbing all right let's go home make dinner and relax for the night all right zane and i just went to town on this we're trying to get it done before eight o'clock it is 7 44 and we're pretty on time here just made some tzatziki sauce i will link the recipe for this down below it's their middle eastern steak and rice pilaf never had this one before but so far so good we have some carrots and zucchini roasting in here with just some paprika salt and pepper and olive oil and then you got some rice cooking up right here what kind of rice is this basmati basmati and then the tzatziki sauce was just 
yogurt, sour cream, uh, a cucumber grated up, some lemon, two lemon wedges, uh, a big pinch of salt, and a garlic clove. And it's absolutely delicious. I could have squeezed out the cucumber, but I didn't realize it until after. I'm like, oh, that's a watery tzatziki, but it tastes delicious. So that's all that matters. And then at the end, you top it with sliced almonds, and our meat is this steak. It's like a pre-seasoned, let me see. Ugh. Middle Eastern Sirloin Medallions. Seasoned with garlic, onion, paprika, turmeric, natural flavors. Just basically pieces of steak. And then so the rice, the veggies, the steak on the bowl, top it with the sauce. Wow, we killed that. I'm so excited. Hot damn. It's good. Oh my god. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised. Hot fries doesn't miss. Sure. Dude. What? Is it one of your favorites that we've made from them? Here she is, everybody. It might be. Oh my god, this is amazing. Really? And it's, yes, we like our steak. steak we like our steak um, medium rare. Tzatziki sauce, rice, veggies. I love these little bowls. Thanks, Mom. Mm -hmm. I don't have my tripods somewhere else. Mm. How good is that? Mm -hmm. The tzatziki sauce is really good, too. Mm. All right, bachelor's back on washing it on the iPad. Okay, bye. That was absolutely delicious, you guys. Highly recommend the almonds and tzatziki sauce. Delish. We're in PJs now. We have uh, transported to the bedroom. Zane is stretching. <laughs> and we're watching on the iPad. And Zane's mom brought us these from a little, like, local place on Long Island. They make, like, candies and chocolates and stuff. So I'm about to enjoy caramel s'mores. Mmm. Little treat of the day. If you guys are interested, here's where it's from. The perfect little mini serving size. There's no point in not, like... I need, I need a crunch. I need, like, a pretzel in there. It's easier to be yourself there's there's no no. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, maybe I just haven't gotten to it yet no idea. a chocolate covered graham cracker and a marshmallow on top yeah. <laughs> you're growing him he was working <laughs> I was trying to film him kneading dad is always defending you you look so weird when you need baby he does he looks so funny he doesn't. now he stopped it's hard at work He's a, he's a hard baker. <laughs> oh, okay, you're comfy now? Major spot. Okay, we're on a commercial break. I just ate some uh, chocolate thing. I gave the rest to Zane. I feel like it needed like a crunch, like a pretzel or something. It was a lot, like I liked a few bites of it, but I can't eat that whole thing. It's a lot of chocolate for me. I'm not a huge chocolate person. So I'll take cinnamon buns though and like sugar cookies all day. But pieces of chocolate, I just, I'm not that kind of gal. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go. You guys wanna relax for the rest of the night. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Down and in